This video is going to be a look at Corona Familiar, or Familiar, depending on how you pronounce it, I guess. Have had the regular Corona done here in the States, but this is the one done out of Mexico, brewed and canned by Cerveceria Modela Mexico. Comes in at 4.8% ABV. This can right here, 24 ounces. Let's go ahead and get it into the glass. Check this out. Right there, pretty decent clarity, I will say that. It does have a nice looking, clear look to the beer. You got a nice little bubble action from everything taking place. Head does dissipate rather quickly. Nose wise, getting the sweetness from the malts. It's an adjunct lager, so you get the corn feel. But nothing really jumping out different than what I would actually expect, taste wise. Pretty sweet, malty, corny, adjuncty. <laughs> I don't know if adjuncty is an actual word or not, but we're going to use it right there. Yeah, it's typical of what you would kind of get on this type of style. It has a little bit of a grassy type note that comes through as well. A little bit of a slight floral type feel to it. You get a bready type presence. Everything you would kind of expect to get from a macro type lager kind of comes into play here. Mouth wise, it does open up with a decent enough quality, I would say, on a hotter type day. Something like this will be an easy one to actually drink. I will say this versus the regular Corona. I will have, from what I remember, and it's been a while since I've had the regular Corona, I will say I have more of a likeness for this one versus that version. It's got a little bit of a salt type back to it as well, which is nice. I don't know if people usually add the lime to this one like they do with the Americanized one, but um, I would say you don't have to add a lime to it, but if you do, give it a little bit of a fruity type feel, that can actually work for you as well. Not bad for a little corner store pickup. I think the can itself, 24 ounce, was like $2.99, $2.89, somewhere around there. Not bad overall. Untapped for me on this one here. I'm going to actually keep this probably at about a, I would say about 275, a little bit better than I was expecting there. But again, not something I want to go after and seek for myself. It's not something that I prefer for my palate. But if you like adjunct type lagers and some of the macros, this might be one you want to check out. Let me know if you've had this by dropping a comment in the comment section. Until next time, cheers.